heart struck the back came out. <laughs> Hey, we're back on the Morning Brew. Welcome to our show. Thank Lindy's for the uh, view out our window today, downtown Albuquerque, right along Route 66. Okay, swing into it here. Our first guest is a gentleman that's been on the show in a couple of capacities in the past, and we're going to welcome him as a regular contributor to the Morning Brew. James Blackburn is here, and Aaron, James has been in lots of movies. Both the Lone Ranger, I hear. Yeah. Yes. It's, I know it's hard to believe with all this hair and this beard that uh, I was the second team for the Lone Ranger for seven months in 2012. Oh, wow. What a but, cool uh, gig. That was great. We just hid my hair under the hat, and I stayed clean shaven the whole time. And, there uh, you go. And it was, it was an incredible experience. That's amazing. It's good to have you here. You're going to be dropping by on a regular basis yeah, to talk I about appreciate that. the film business and the TV business in New Mexico. And that's what yeah. we're going to get from you. Rumors and everything. Yeah, and why don't we jump onto that right now? Because yeah. there's a movie going on in town right now called Abe Makes a Movie. Ah. And uh, it's being shot with uh, help through the state's incentives as well uh -huh. as uh, independently funded, uh, uh, like a Kickstarter sort of page. Yeah. And uh, I we actually started helped shooting. contribute to did that. You? Well, I did. Thank you very much. Yep. We appreciate that a lot. Uh, we started day one yesterday. Really? And uh, okay. we're going to be here for the rest of the month. So look it up online because they are still looking for background actors as well, I believe. And ah. uh, it's abemakesamovie.com. And uh, I'm playing a homeless guy on there. Big surprise, <laughs> since I play that in almost every movie. <laughs> uh, I always say that I'm the guy in the movie that usually gets to say four or five lines and then usually gets killed afterwards. So uh. <laughs> now, when Abe makes a movie, I don't get killed off. So I, well, I that's good. To, but I can't really talk much more about the storyline. We want to oh, keep all that Oh, you can't. I was going to ask yeah. you that, but it's, you get it's hush off. hush. Huh? Well, I, on the website, it basically tells you. Uh, there's this guy, Abe, who's a bit of a loser, and he loses his lady and decides to make a movie to get her back. Yeah. And uh, it should be an entertaining film. It's an independent film uh, guy named uh, Ryan Turry, who's the director, uh -huh. and uh, him and Matt Peterson wrote it together. And uh, it's going to be a great short film, or no, actually feature-length film, I'm sorry. I've yeah. met Ryan before. He's, yeah. uh, he's yeah. very in yeah. Yeah. very good guy. Awesome. I worked with him a couple years ago on a movie called The Bigfoot Elections, which yeah. they sold into distribution. And right. It's a very entertaining, funny film, too. Yep. Let's get a little of your background video-wise. We have a reel. From yes, we you. do, and I'm going to offer live commentary over the, uh, sure. the thing. Sure. So I didn't Let's record. Let's do it. Anything. All right. Let's roll James reel here. Hey, uh, they kind of jumped forward here into the middle of it for some reason. But uh, yeah, wild, wild hogs there. Yeah, I played a guy named uh, Neck, uh, Mr. Red Neck. Uh, this is into the west here, where I got to say thank you and thank you kindly, and uh, for some reason. Uh, in LA, they redubbed it with another actor's voice. So. Uh, that's happened to me too. <laughs> yeah, so you can relate. This was a History Channel movie called Taming the Wild West. I wasn't cast to say anything, but they said, make up something. Hello? And uh, a lot of people don't believe this is me. <laughs> so I, I let her. <laughs> a little Ozzy Osbourne look going yeah, yeah, exactly. There. I was that's playing awesome. a rock star on a locally produced television series, The Witching Hour, which aired on. Uh, my 50 TV for I six weeks. About that. Yeah. It was great. I was co creator on the show. Well, good on that one. Well, thanks. I, uh, I, I like changing up the look a little bit. Under this beard, there's actual chin. Is that and, you that just got killed? Yeah, and that's Beer Fest there. I was a captain of the Irish drinking team. That's the 420 movie. This was a zombie movie I did called Grave Mistake. This was the first independent I did called Ironwood. And uh, several of these other ones here are independent films as well. But I've done over 40 to 50 of the Hollywood ones too. Oh. And uh, it has been a great honor. This was a great oh mistake gosh. here. Yeah, I was a little <laughs> scary on that one. And then, of course, The Lone Ranger, where I got to work with Army Hammer, awesome guy. Wow. Uh, Gore Verbinski. And the, the other guy there is Wes Trudell. He was yeah. uh, Johnny's second team. And there's Jerry Bruckheimer. And, of course, Johnny Depp and all four of us together there. Nice. Which That's was, awesome. Uh, it was Beautiful. an awesome experience. Yeah, we had a, a really uh, good time on that movie, I, I'd say. That's, That's cool. That's so cool. Well, let's get in back into the rumor mill yeah. here. Um, the Star Wars rumors continue. They persist. They do. And everything that's online and everything I've heard through the industry here is that it's mostly being shot in England, mm -hmm. but there'll be some L.A. and some New Mexico shoots, too. 
like Tatooine, maybe. Are we a Possibly, planet yeah. or something? I've heard rumors of White Sands being a possible location because it, it resembles Tatooine mm -hmm. sort of uh, planet, you know, and stuff like that. Okay. So hopefully we'll get Star Wars here because as as we were talking before we started the show, I, I'm in the movie business because of Star Wars. I, I love that first yeah. film. I was six years old when it came out. And it, it was the first movie I'd seen in a movie theater and the first movie I'd seen more than once. We went five nights in a row. Yeah. And it, it was so mind-blowing to a six-year-old boy that I was just like, I, I want to make things like that when I grow up. Yeah. And, so, and so that's why I work on both sides of the camera. I'll, I'll work as a camera or director or a writer or I'll jump on the other side and be an actor as well. Yeah. Because I, I just love the whole, the magic of filmmaking and, and how you can put together something uh, literally a few seconds at a time. Yeah. Well, that's really exciting news, though, because I, I've been hearing more truth to hold the whole Star Wars movie. So I'm really excited because at first people were like, no, it's not happening. Yeah, it is happening. And it was going back and forth. And now I'm starting to hear that they might begin doing some casting soon for Star Wars. So. Yeah, and, and I haven't heard about that yet. Yeah. But as soon as I do, I'll let everybody know because... Uh, you know, I'm going to find out about this. i got to be on a yeah. Star Wars movie no matter yeah, what. Yeah, you has let to me be know. On the, has yeah. to be on the Even resume. if I'm way in the back just to say, yeah, I was in a Star Wars exactly. movie. Exactly. You know. There's a show that was uh, shot in New Mexico on television tonight. Yeah. It debuts tonight called Killer Women. Yeah. And yeah, they spent watch some it. time here. And yeah, I, got, I was cast on that one and then uncast. <laughs> because I, uh, you're not a killer woman. Well, no, they, they had a scene where they wanted to hire a reenactment group, and I belong to a group here in town yeah. called the New Mexico Gunfighters Association. Right. Oh. who do We do shows in Old Town on Sundays uh, when the weather permits, of course. Sure. And the, the group's been around since 1979, so they hired the whole group to do uh, a re reenactment scene but they found out we were 1880s and they wanted 1830s. So it, there's oh, a big well, difference in wardrobe. Oh, that to me all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, well. so, you know, you get cast on a movie and uncast, you don't take it personally. It's just the no, nature just, of, the, of the business. So. Yeah. Well, and I've heard that there's another rumor of a large TV show coming and going to start production here again, too. And a very popular yeah, one. Yeah, I've been hearing that, too. And, and obviously, we've been hearing rumors that may come, it may not come. But uh, the prequel to Breaking Bad has been rumored to possibly come back to New Mexico to shoot right. uh, with the Saul character, you know, the, the right. lawyer from the show. So uh, I did do a couple episodes of Breaking Bad when it was in town as well. Mm -hmm. uh, one episode, I just played a, a guy shopping for drums, and I didn't somehow make it in there. <laughs> I got cut out somehow. And then another, another episode, I was hired as a precision driver, which is basically a, a guy who knows how to drive safe so that the stunt driver can weave in and out of traffic. Oh. oh. So, so that was a lot of fun. I've yeah. done that on a few movies. Yeah. Do what you can in the films. Yeah, right? of course. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's so cool. and, and as you're aware, on Lone Ranger, I was second team for the whole seven months that right. they were in New Mexico and Arizona and Colorado and Utah. And uh, so that's even a, another job in the movie business that I've been fortunate enough to uh, get to do. And that's a lot of fun because you actually get to work directly with the actors and yeah. the produce directors. It was, so. uh, you know, and most time when you're second team or a stand-in, mm -hmm. you're literally doing what the description of the job is, standing in. Yeah. Uh, but on this one, Gore expected second team to know all the dialogue. So we did full second team rehearsals before wow. Johnny and Army came out. And it was a great experience. It was like seven months of acting lessons from Gore Verbinski and uh, super nice guy. The, the whole crew can't say enough nice things about working with that crew and with, with the folks that uh, suffered with us out in some of the conditions that we got to experience. <laughs> Yeah, and that was a great movie, by the way. Thank you. Uh, and it's such eye candy when you watch that. It's so beautiful. And to mm -hmm. think back that I was in those places, sometimes yeah. it seems like it was a dream, but I, yeah. I'm yeah. very, very fortunate. And I, I got to thank Elizabeth Gable, who's the local casting person who hired She's me for amazing. that. She, she is an awesome person. That leads the, to the next obvious question. If somebody wants to get into this, be an extra, or start working around the films around New Mexico, what advice do you have? Well, the first thing is to... Go to nmfilm.com. Look at their bulletin board page. There's casting calls on there all the time. And NM Film will screen them so you know they're legitimate. If you go to Craigslist, you're not sure what you're getting there right. for, for the casting calls. There's a lot of scams on there. But on nmfilm.com, that's what I did in 2004. I saw a casting call for Into the West on nmfilm.com. I huh. said to the gunfighter group, let's all dress up in Old West clothes and show huh. up. They hired the whole group, and, and I ended up working five months on it. Uh, nice. in that time and I got to know all the casting people so basically look for casting calls 
and you can also do local searches. Uh, there's white turtle casting. You can look them up on the internet. Uh, EG casting, which is Elizabeth Gable. She does a lot of stuff right. here in town. And there's a couple others as well. Just look them up on M nmfilm.com because they have a listing of all the casting people here in town. Right. And you're a member of the Gunfighters Association. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. That sounds really fun. It, it is fun. It's a group, uh, as I said before, it's been around since 1979 in Old Town. I call it one of Albuquerque's best kept secrets because every time I mention it to people, they're, they're like, there's a gunfighter group in Old Town? They, they don't even know. Uh, but yeah, we do Old West comedy shootouts yeah. down in Old Town, about 10 minute shows. And we just, we block off the street and, and we do shows for tourists that are here in town. Are you mm -hmm. the sheriff? Uh, I've, it varies sometimes. Believe it or not, I actually can play Buford the Dumb Deputy occasionally. <laughs> it's one of my specialties, actually. But I do play the sheriff or an outlaw occasionally, and uh, we have a variety of, of parts. So, uh, you know what you should do is come, come, come down and be in one yeah. of the shows in March when it gets warmer. Yeah, <laughs> no, no doubt about it. We'll get you dressed up. For I'm sure. glad you're going to be dropping around when uh, movie or TV news happens. Uh, you're going to see James Blackburn here on the show delivering the info. So good to, good to have you part of the team here. Okay? Thanks. I appreciate yeah, it a lot. Yeah. And, uh, and thanks for not mentioning my hair. Not at all. <laughs> Most all people right. are like, yeah, you got so much hair. Speaking of hair, <laughs> Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy. <laughs> Devin is next. We'll tell you about an open house. That's next on The Morning Brew.